Well, I did my weigh-in on New Year's Day, and I have chosen a word of the year for me. Stay tuned, and I'll share it all with you. First of all, hi, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for joining in with my journey to lose 147 Point eight pounds. My name is Sue. I am a 68 year old following the Weight Watchers personal points plan. Uh, I have been on Weight Watchers in earnest since 2016. I had lost a total of 93.5 pounds. The last couple of years have not gone the way I wanted them to, though. So I'm back at my journey, hard, you know, hardcore, trying to get this weight off that I have gained through the pandemic. And um, so I'm glad that you have followed or decided to join me in this journey. Welcome to my channel. For my returning subscribers, hi, thank you so much for staying with me. You've seen my ups and my downs and my ups and my ups and my ups and my downs. Um, and I really appreciate you sticking with me all these years. So um, I did my weigh in. I weigh in every Saturday. Uh, back home, I go to a meeting on Saturday mornings. I just started doing that. Now, I've been away for several weeks because of my son's wedding. Um, and then uh, I came to Idaho to spend Christmas and New Year's with my daughter. I am uh, heading home uh, on Wednesday. Well, I'm starting the journey on Tuesday. Uh, if my flights don't get canceled, that is, because I know up in this area, they have been canceling a lot of flights because of weather and because of COVID situations. So I'm hoping to be home Wednesday night back in Ohio. We'll see how that goes. But while I'm here, I am doing everything I can um, to be tracking as well as I can. Uh, and I did do my Saturday morning weigh-in, which was New Year's Day. Now, New Year's Eve, we didn't do a whole lot. We went out for pizza. And, um, I mean, it showed on the scale. I knew it was. And I, like I said, I have been really on vacation since the middle of December. So I haven't been, um, I haven't been within my points a lot of days. Uh, I'm trying to be more conscious of that now. So let me stop here, and I'm going to show you what happened with my weigh-in on New Year's Day. Well, I can tell you that was a number that I never wanted to see again. I thought I was done with that. <clears throat> and um, I have no excuses. I mean, the um, I, I weigh myself every single day. So I watch that scale creep up. And I'm not totally surprised. The weekly weigh-in wasn't that bad. 1.9. That's not a, a total bad weigh in. It's just the enormity of seeing that two two number again. Um, <clears throat> so I ended up the year with a gain of 13.9, I think, or 13.6 or something like that. It wasn't good. So I told you that I was that I had chosen um, a word of the year. So here's the word. I keep all kinds of charts in um, my computer. I have an Excel spreadsheet for my daily weight loss. Um, it goes back to 2017. Um, so I can go back and I can look at the trends in my weight loss see when I was uh, when I was um, successful, when I was having a tr trouble. And I also keep spreadsheets on uh, what I'm eating. Uh, as you might know, uh, along with tracking points, I usually track calories also because my big problem 
most days is not overeating on calories. It's not eating enough. So um, my body, my sweet spot for, for weight loss is um, eating somewhere between 1,100 and 1,300 calories. Now you might think, oh gosh, Sue, that's not enough. But I'm 68 years old and um, my activity level isn't what it was 10 or 20 years ago. Um, that's one of the things I'm going to do. I'm going to bump up my activity level a little bit and maybe I'll increase my calories. But for now, especially in the wintertime, that's kind of my sweet spot and it always has been. Um, my metabolism has always been kind of slow. So I don't require the calories that other people might require. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's why I keep track of my calories. Um, I look at the points first and then uh, sometimes in the evening I'll add a snack or something just to bump up those calories a little bit. And I'm talking about I like a healthy snack, you know, like some yogurt or something. So anyway, um, but my weight loss success always goes back to how consistent I have been in following the plan. That's why I chose the word consistency because I need to be constantly reminded of myself. I need to be consistent every single day in what I'm doing. Now I could have chosen all kinds of words like focused, you know, you know, get your head out of your butt, <laughs> that type of thing. But I chose consistency because that is what's going to help me be more, more successful in anything. Uh, I all, I'm also on a budget journey uh, that is uh, that kind of goes along with my weight loss. I need to be consistent in it. But uh, And I shared this in my video the other day that the months that I don't spend any money eating out are the months that I have lost weight in the last year. That's one of the reasons I kind of keep all these spreadsheets is so that I can go back and look to see, okay, what did I do right what did I do wrong? So um, the number one thing that contributed to my weight gain in 2021 was going out to eat. Now, I know many of you go out to eat without a problem. And it's okay. I'm talking not going out just once a week or once every couple of weeks. I was eating out a lot. I spent a lot of unnecessary money in restaurants, in fast food places, um, ice cream places. So uh, that's th something that I'm going to do because, number one, I'm not putting it in my budget as much. I am going to allow for occasionally going out to eat, like on special occasions or, you know, something comes up and I, you know, I go out with my kids. Yes. But for me to sit and order DoorDash just because I'm bored, uh, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. And that's a lot, what I, a lot of what I did. Now, it got better after I went back to work <coughs> for a couple of reasons. Do you remember I had bronchitis in December, and I'm still not completely over it. <coughs> so my throat is still getting kind of yucky. It's not sore. I'm just coughing a lot still. But anyway... Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh, when I went back to work, uh, after I started substitute teaching again, uh, I was eating out less. I was planning more. And um, that was another thing. I was doing a lot of meal planning when I was being successful. Uh, but uh, when I went back to work, I was tired because I started getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning where I was used to not doing that. And <laughs> I was in bed many nights by 8 o'clock. And so, you know... I didn't even think about, you know, ordering on DoorDash or Grubhub or anything like that. So a lot of times I came home and had a snack and went to bed. <coughs> now when I get back home, I'll start subbing again and get into that routine. So, but my my budget and my weight loss kind of go hand in hand. So I'm on these two journeys at the same time and um, I need to be consistent in both of them. So that's why I chose the word consistency. Now, as far as what I'm going to do here on my channel, I'm still going to share with you my uh, weigh-ins weigh every week. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to show you the scale again, if I can, because I'm weighing in at, at Weight Watchers. So uh, 
I don't know that I can take a picture of that scale, but my scale at home normally weighs what Weight Watchers weighs. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll take a picture of my scale at home, then go to my meeting and just tell you if there's a difference. So uh, because that helped me stay accountable to you guys when I was showing you my scale and my app for my weigh-in. Um, I'm going to I'm going to continue to do that. I now since we're on personal points, you know, my points are going to be different than a lot of yours. I'm still going to share with you when I'm eating every day cuz that is helpful to me. It helps helps me stay accountable. And and uh once I get back home, I want to be more consistent in that because I kind of dropped off the face of YouTube for a while. Um just because of my I was traveling and uh <clears throat> or I was tired and, you know, I've been kind of having some health issues. But that's a big thing. That's a big reason why I want to get back on track and start losing some weight. I have really noticed some differences since I have gained back the 30 pounds plus that I have gained. <clears throat> um, for one thing, it's taking me longer to recover from, you know, illnesses like bronchitis and, you know, just common colds and the flu and stuff like that. But the big thing I have noticed is that my knees are really hurting. Um, I had a lot of plans last year that didn't come to fruition. Uh, not because of my health or anything, but, uh, but mostly because of COVID. You know, I had a lot of hiking plans last year that I didn't do. Uh, my trip to the Badlands I didn't do because uh, COVID was raging out in South Dakota and North Dakota. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do some of those hikes this year, uh, but not with my knees the way they are. So before I go um, and, ha and hike some of those uh, challenging trails, I need to uh, start walking more uh, here and get this weight off. So there's not so much weight or, you know, tension on my knees. I have really noticed my knees hurting really badly um, the last few weeks. So, uh, and I don't want to go back on blood pressure medicine. Right now, my blood pressure is good, uh, uh, miraculously, but uh, I don't want to go back on it. You know, yes, if you recall, I was taking four blood pressure pills a day. I don't want to do that anymore. So there's a lot of reasons other than just losing weight that I'm on this journey. Um, so uh, now I, the only big thing we have coming up this year in the family is that in May, my daughter is graduating with her PhD. So I'll be back out here in Idaho in May. Um, uh, last year when I was out here in May, we did a nice hike. It was a hike that I had done before, but since I had gained weight, I did not do so well on this hike. Um, I had a lot of trouble getting up the mountain. And um, if we hike again, I don't want to have that problem. So there's a lot of reasons that I want to lose weight that aren't just totally vanity, you know. Well, anyway, that's kind of how, where my year has started. Now, today is um, Sunday, the 2nd of uh, January. I did pretty good yesterday. Um, did have some pizza last night again. What's been happening is that I, I have been doing very low points up until dinner, and then we usually have been going out for dinner. So, um, and I don't see that changing. I mean, I'm out here with my daughter and I'm not going to see her again until May. So, uh, I'm enjoying that time. And I have told you before, when I get home on the, on the, on the fifth, I get home Wednesday on the fifth. Um, so starting the sixth is when I'm really, really getting back into my home routine. And, uh, until then I'm going to probably continue eating low points during the day and then going out with Emily and sometimes her friends in the evening. So, uh, I'm tracking very consistently during the day. Um, and then when I get home, things will change. So that's where I'm at to start the year out. Uh, it didn't go the way I wanted it to, but, you know, I just didn't have, I didn't put the effort in that I needed to put in to have the result that I wanted. So, all right, well, that's going to wrap it up for me. Uh, I think I got kind of chatty today <laughs> on my video, but, uh, just wanted to get you up, get something up here. I don't know when I'll be back on here. It may not be until Thursday when I'm home. Uh, we'll just see how the next couple of days go.
right now we're under a winter storm warning. Uh, I don't think for a lot of snow, but for the wind chills. So we'll see. Let's hope I get home. <laughs> I know they've been canceling flights. So you guys have a great night. Uh, I'll see you later this week, if not tomorrow, on YouTube. And uh, Happy New Year. And one final thing, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I sure would appreciate it. I would love to get up to a thousand subscribers this year. I'm getting very, very close. I think I need a couple hundred more subscribers. So I'd appreciate if you would subscribe and share, um, comment and like, uh, because that helps the YouTube algorithm. So I'll see you guys later this week. Have a great one. Bye-bye.